What is up, everybody? Back with a new video here, my first of 2023. And for this one, I'm actually going to be kind of recapping 2022, talk about every band I saw in concert uh, last year, and give you my 10 favorite concerts of the year. Like my 10 favorite bands I saw, 10 to 1, uh, I count them down. But I'm just going to run through every band I saw. It was a lot, um, somewhere around 100. I haven't counted exactly. And I'll try to say a little bit about each show, but run through it kind of quick. So. First show I saw was Prong and uh, Overkill in Florida. That was at the House of Blues in Orlando. Met some friends down there. Nick Franco from Sea of Tranquility. Ryan uh, Scow was there. Uh, it was a really good time. Um, you know, Overkill was my fourth time seeing them. They're always great. Uh, then after that, I saw Queensryche and Judas Priest at Ameris Bank Amphitheater in Alpharetta, Georgia. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to remember each specific venue and where it was exactly, but uh, again, great show. Second time seeing Queensryche, fourth time seeing Judas Priest. Went with my dad to that. That was uh, pretty cool. And then after that, um, I think in May at this point, was Hell's Heroes in Houston, Texas. I actually drove, so I drove to Orlando from Atlanta to see Overkill, drove from Atlanta to Houston. That's about 12 and a half hours of driving. I stopped in Baton Rouge after about eight hours in Louisiana, Stayed the night, then went the rest of the way the next day. Went to Hell's Heroes, a lot of bands, really great stuff. Kind of underground festival with some bigger name bands as the headliners. But um, looking at this, Sadistic Force, who's great. Night, Toxic, Hellstar, Exciter, Savage Master, Lady Beast, Night Demon, Oath of Cruelty, who were insane, very like heavy death thrash. Uh, there was a guy crowd surfing through the trash can at the uh, drummer. It was just a wild, wild crowd. Um, Stress Angel, another cool band. Uh, that one's Black Black Death ish. Um, Whiplash, Classic Thrash, uh, Solicitor, Bewitcher, Midnight, Summerlands, Candlemass, Dark Angel, Night Cobra, Saber, Haunt, Bloodstar, Slewfag, Legendary, um, uh, Traveler, who was absolutely fantastic. I saw them front row at the smaller venue. Uh, like the little, there's two venues within one at the Hell's Heroes spot. It's called White Oak Amphitheater. They've got the main stage and then kind of a loft upstairs. Saw Traveler upstairs, front row, the small room, and it was awesome. Uh, Riot and, uh, yeah, Riot. So that was Hell's Heroes. Really, really awesome fest. Going again this year. Uh, see all of y'all there. If you're going, come say what's up. Um, and then after them, I saw Death Angel, Exodus, and Testament in, in Atlanta at, uh, the Masquerade. Great show. I went after work that day, so I barely got there in time to see Death Angel. They were starting their first song as I walked in, so very happy to have gotten there to see them. They're my favorite thrash band to see live at this point. They're just absolutely incredible. Um, and, of course, Exodus and uh, Testament were both great. First time seeing them. Uh, and then after that, I drove up to Nashville. Um, this was sometime around the summer uh, to see In Flames, Trivium, Lamb of God, and Megadeth, obviously, I was going primarily to see Megadeth, um, In Flames, and Trivium. Not a fan. I mean, the first couple In Flames albums are pretty cool, but, you know, the more modern stuff isn't really my cup of tea. And Trivium, I've never liked them at all. I know some people do, but I really don't like them at all. Uh, but Megadeth killed it. Lamb of God was cool as well. That was about a three and a half hour drive for me, which uh, it was worth it. Love Megadeth. They're my favorite band. Um, and then after that... Next sh uh, show I saw was in Spartanburg, South Carolina at a place called Ground Zero. So that was about two and a half hours, two hours from me. So I'm I'm going all around here to see these shows. And that was uh, Arson Tikva and Mork Grinning, or Mork Grinning, however it's pronounced, a Swedish black metal band. Amazing. It was their first U.S. tour. They've been around since the mid-90s. Amazing, amazing band. I got two shirts from them. Uh, they've got several really, really awesome albums. Arson Tikva, a uh, cool black metal band from uh, New York, I believe, which were also good. There was a few other bands that played at that show. I don't remember who, but they were all pretty cool. Just don't feel like going back to look at the moment. But uh, yeah, so really there's like two or three more bands that could be added to this. Um, and then the next show after that was in Sand. It was at Sand Mountain Amphitheater in Alabama. I don't know the exact town, but... Drove over there about an hour and 45 minutes to see uh, Quiet Riot, Winger, and Skid Row. It was my third time seeing the band, like full band Winger. I've also seen Kip Winger once uh, solo set. Uh, he does an acoustic solo set, which is actually really good. 
Uh, but third time seeing Winger, first time seeing Quiet Riot and Skid Row. Skid Row is great. Of course, they got the new singer. They've got a new album out, which is pretty cool. It's called The Gang's All Here. But uh, they were awesome. They've got their two original guitar players and uh, original bassist from back in the day. Um, people whine about Sebastian Bach not being there, but, you know, they've got three-fifths of the classic lineup, and they still kill it. So go see them if they come near you. And then the next show after that was Maryland Death Fest at, uh, in Baltimore up there, which I drove to that as well. It's like 10 hours from Atlanta. Um, Maryland Death Fest, great, great fest. They're not having it this year, but they'll be back next year. Really looking forward to that. But uh, Massacre, Graveyard, Monstrosity, Atheist, Demolition Hammer, Suffocation, a lot of heavy bands, uh, Violence, Classic Thrash, uh, Obituary, Classic Death Metal, Carcass, another classic death metal band, uh, Enforced, who's really great, Modern Thrash, uh, Cancer, Autopsy, um, Necrophobic, who is awesome. They're one of my favorite bands ever. Pro Fanatica, Dark Fortress, another one of my favorite uh, black metal bands for sure. They're in my top five. Their set could have been better. Um, they didn't play as much of the older stuff, which I like a little bit better, but it was still awesome to see them. Um, Sacramentum and uh yeah sacramento so there was a lot more bands there that you know i missed some of them but it's impossible to see all the bands at these big fests because they got multiple stages there's different parts you got to go to and from which you know it can be tiring but i saw a lot of cool bands and it's an amazing fest um and then after that i uh, was in atlanta to see there was an opener opening band that was pretty cool modern band or not modern but local band um which was cool and then skeleton and holder the uh solo project uh, female uh, black metal which is really great she of course hires a full band to tour with but uh, she's awesome great great uh, couple of you know ep and album she's got check it out uh, and then after that i saw faster pussycat la guns and tom Kiefer in atlanta at uh, the buckhead theater another great show uh then from there Went to Psycho Las Vegas, so multiple really awesome big fests I went to last year, which Psycho was uh, awesome. Saw Magua, which was the first band of the fest that I saw. Absolutely freaking serene and just mesmerizing. These guys are insanely awesome. Uh, great black metal from Poland. I was front row right in the middle of the stage pretty much, so that was a really great experience there. And then I saw Wolves in the Throne Room, Carcass again, uh, Mayhem, Emperor, Antichrist Siege Machine. These bands are all awesome. Uh, Nuclear Assault, glad to have seen them. They're, you know, retiring apparently. We'll see if they come back like a lot of bands do, but I think they might be done. Um, Achilles, or Cleese, however it's pronounced, great black metal band. Uh, Primitive Man, The Body, Liturgy. Tribulation, I'm not like a massive fan of all these bands, but I'll go around and, you know, catch 20 or 30 minutes or 20 minutes of each set just to see, you know, how they are. You don't know until you see them a lot of the times. So I went to went around to see a lot of these bands. Um, Gate Creeper, who was really great, aggressive uh, death metal. Suicidal Tendencies, uh, At the Gates, Yakuza, which was a really interesting band. Sam Ale, uh, Witch Mountain. Sirith Ungle, High on Fire, and The Mighty Merciful Fate, which was insane. Uh, and then I went up to Nashville again to see Death Angel, Exodus, and Testament on their second leg of the Bay Strikes Back tour. That was at a place called the Brooklyn Bowl, which is a really cool venue. Literally a bowling alley attached to the music venue, uh, venue attached to a minor league baseball stadium. So, you know, between bands, you could go up onto the, like, uh, balcony where the people would smoke, and there's a bar out there, and it's literally overlooking the baseball field, the stadium, and they had a game going on. It's AAA, I think, Nashville Sounds, which, uh, it was cool to go up there and see some of the game between the bands. Um, I'm a big baseball fan, uh, so, yeah, Death Angel was amazing. Again, all the bands were great, and I went with my mom. First, uh, time she's seen thrash bands in person, so... She uh, had a good time. She actually liked Death Angel the best as well, which they're my favorite, so uh, that was cool. Uh, and then I went up to New York, the Hudson Valley area. They had the uh, Sea of Tranquility Fall Fest I went, um, which was really cool. Met Pete Pardo from Sea of Tranquility and all uh, the other people that uh, contribute to the channel. Pat Travers played, a couple other bands played, Vanilla Fudge, which is Carmine Apices or Carmine Apice. Uh, his band from like way back and 
They had some technical difficulties. Carmine wasn't too happy. It was interesting for sure, but that was a great time. Um, and then I went to Charge Noise Fest in Los Angeles, which uh, was really cool. There's it's kind of another underground festival, mainly Black Thrash uh, and like maybe some like hardcore, not really hardcore, but like punk, punk and uh, Black Thrash. Uh, a lot of cool bands. We got, uh, let's see, let's see, Death Spell, which was an amazing black metal band that's modern. Check them out. They got an EP out. I think they got an album in the works, but they were great. Saw Sadistic Force again, uh, Loud Night, Speed Metal, Black, some punk uh, mixed at this festival. Uh, Wraith, who was really awesome. Met all those guys. They're uh, all really cool dudes. Um, Bewitcher again, Bat, and uh, that's mostly all I caught at that, but... I was uh, there with some friends, we went to the Rainbow, uh, went around and did some other stuff, which was cool. And uh, the last show of the year, finally, was Armored Saint and Wasp for me. Really, really great. Um, love Wasp. They are one of my favorite bands. I freaking got this tattoo about two weeks ago, and I think it looks awesome. It's the Wasp logo. They rule. But uh, so as far as my 10 favorites, um, number 10, I'm going to go with Megadeth up there in Nashville. Favorite band, always great to see them. It's only my second time seeing them, but both times it's been amazing. Uh, number nine, Necrophobic. Uh, they came over from Sweden at Maryland Death Fest. It was just an absolutely awesome experience. Um, number eight, Oath of Cruelty. This was one of the most intense, probably the most intense show I saw. Just the crowd was going crazy. Uh, Mosh Pit was wild. Again, they picked up the trash can, threw it on stage, trying to hit the drummer and just throwing trash everywhere. It was wild. Um, that one was at Hell's Heroes. Uh, number seven, I'm going to go with more Grinning. more Grinning, again, probably pronounced either way. I, I don't know. But uh, Swedish black metal was awesome. They're really melodic, really cool. They all played their instruments great. The sound was awesome. Uh, cool venue. Well, it's not really that cool of a venue, but I like small venue shows a lot because you're right there, like on top of the band pretty much, which... That uh, was uh, really awesome. Uh, number six, Holder, another one that was at a really small venue. Great black metal. Uh, the whole band was really good. Uh, she is awesome. Uh, number five, Death Angel. I'm going to go with the show up there in Nashville. It was a good time, good experience going with my mom, getting her to her first uh, thrash show, and they killed it as usual. They played, you know, a lot of great songs. They played two or three from Dream Calls for Blood, which super heavy album, uh, that title track, Caster of Shame. These are great songs to see live. Just love that guitar tone from Rob Cavastani. Uh, Mark Asagata sounds amazing on vocals. Still, they're, you know, 35 years into the band since the first album. 36 years now since 1987. They formed a few years before that. So been around a while. Still going strong. Uh, number four, Achilles. Achilles, uh, great, great black metal. Uh, saw him in Vegas. It was kind of funny, too, because at the uh, Resorts World, where the fest was this year, or last year, I got to get used to saying that now, but last year, um, you know, it's like an open concourse. There is a really fancy, like, nightclub, so all these people are lined up outside waiting to get into the nightclub, and here comes super heavy black metal Achilles at this little bar on the concourse with an open uh, view, and they're all just standing there watching this, like, extreme shit, which... Uh, it's kind of funny, but you know, they were great. Uh, freaking love them. Great, great band. Number three, Merciful Fate, another one from uh, uh, Psycho Las Vegas, which was amazing. Of course, everybody loves Merciful Fate uh, pretty much. That's in the metal. Great classic band, very influential. King Diamond still sounds awesome, and the whole band was just absolutely amazing. Number two, you got to go with Traveler. You know, love these guys. Uh, new wave of traditional heavy metal from Canada. They got a couple albums out, both amazing. And uh, they were absolutely awesome. Saw them front row, as I said, but uh, loved it. Loved every every minute of that show. And my number one has got to be Magua. I freaking love these guys. At this point, they're definitely a top ten black metal band for me. Love all of their albums. Their few EPs they have are all amazing as well. Um, they're just freaking an amazing band. Love Graza and all their stuff. So. That was my 10 favorite bands I saw and all of the bands I saw in 2022. Let me know uh, down below in the comments who you saw. If you want to list all of them, like 100 like I did, that's cool. I'll uh, be interested to go there and see it. Tell me who your couple favorite shows were of the year. What shows you're looking forward to uh, coming up in 2023. And as usual, you guys, thank you for watching.